Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm going to show you where you can find the spiral chunk and a quick easy access for the rubies, which are necessary for the synthetic fibers. So with the synthetic fibers, if you actually just get the spiral chunk, it'll actually unlock that. Or if you're in the glacial basin and you make your way over to the Phi excavation site where the frozen Leviathan is, you'll actually find one there and that'll unlock that blueprint as well. Now. I'm gonna take the fog off right now and the weather is turned off here. I'm in the opening area. This is where you come down from the opening of the game and you jump in the water. Directly from here is Delta Island. And let's go, let's get a compass going, which would be directly south. We go towards the west. We're gonna go towards the West Arctic and the Glacial Basin and the Arctic Spire biome. If we head to the east, we're gonna go over to the East Arctic. So essentially Delta Island is kind of your hub because on the other end of this, on the other side, is where we will find the uh, big tree spire biome and we're gonna find the vent garden and that's where we wanna go. So I'm gonna go into free cam mode here. Just know, go straight, move around the island and you will run into what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit. So if we were to go straight, we made it to Delta Island. If we would just go around either way, you're going to run into a bunch of stuff because we can do the mining site down here. On the other end, we have the um, crashed ship. And we also have the purple vent biome as well. But once I'm literally on the opposite end of this, this is it. It won't look like this. Obviously, I have the water turned off, the water volume. Let's turn that water volume back on. And let's go ahead and ghost in right here. So I'm just on the opposite side, right? That's all I've done. You'll find this opening and you can start going down. As you start going down, eventually you're going to see one of the vent gardens. And with this, we have two that are fixed in place. And they're very, very big. And then we actually have some juvenile ones. You can see it right there. We have some juvenile ones. And with the juvenile ones, those will actually float around. So once you find this, you want to go to the bottom of it and you need to literally go inside of it because there's an opening here and the spiral chunks are going to be in here. And of course with this, you'll need a knife because that's how you're going to essentially cut it. You can't just pick it up. So do make sure that you have a knife here. This is the opening. Whoa, go a little bit lower. Pretty creepy. They used to have gel sacks in here early in development, but they switched this. And this is it. And this is the spiral chunk right here. Oh, spiral plant. There we go. You'll get two out of it. Once we do that, it should pop up that we have the, right there, synthetic fibers. So I recommend getting a bunch of these. And then when you're ready to go, we'll go back through. Now, if you go underneath where this first one is, what the PDA is talking about right there, which is the mineral rich fissure. Uh, you're going to find uranite down here, lithium, and then rubies. And of course, we have more scans for uh, power transmitter, the thermal power plant, things like that. But you can see there's a ruby right there. You come down here, we have more rubies, and you'll run into uh, Mark's power plant. So that's just the easiest way to get it. You can get your rubies and your spiral chunks right there. And now you can make your synthetic fibers as well as unlock some other things. Right here, we have some data drop boxes and things like that. So hopefully that helps anybody that was looking for where the spiral chunks are. But in general, if you're starting the game, this is the easiest way, in my opinion, to get all of these. You can knock it out really, really quick without having to go to various locations. So that's going to be it for this video, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.